Some say eating them brings luck. I'll find out in a sec. Mm. Those taste way better than the ones I had. Mm. Of course it does. Delicious and Dungeon is one of those shows that you wish you came across a long time ago because it's so fun. Viewers get to watch fights, adventure, and striving, but every episode, the characters of the party to rescue Fallon sit down to a meal to eat. Laos, Marcel, Chilchuk, and Senshi prepare their food and then they eat it together. There is a lot that can be said about coming to a table and eating with the people that mean the most to you. Such occasions are where we let our guards down and nourish ourselves, and are about trust, peace, and love. It is all of those things that the characters of this party bake into their food. The planning and preparation needed to produce not just edible food, but delicious food is poured carefully into the animation that slows down to show just how important each ingredient is to the meal. And they do truly make the food look as decadent as the characters describe it. <laughs> そして、衣の準備。溜まったのを Yet there is another aspect of the meal, particularly the meals the party partake in in the dungeon that is of particular note, and that is the concept of eating your fears. Stop that, you idiot! Now I know using a big bat instead of a dog is a stupid idea. Throughout the show, the main characters are constantly faced with strange and unfamiliar monsters that they must defeat to complete their quest. And as a requirement of staying in the dungeon so long, they have to turn these monsters into food in order to survive. Senshi, the master chef, and Laos, the monster enthusiast, lead the charge in convincing their party to partake in monster cuisine. The same monsters, in fact, that moments prior were threatening their lives, filling them with fear, and chasing them throughout the dungeon. The consumption of these monsters isn't merely about making use of fresh meat. It's a symbolic gesture about conquering your fears, taking on the strength of the creatures you once feared, and rising to the top of the proverbial dominant hierarchy to become the most dominant species. It's similar in concept to some folk medicine traditions in which dangerous creatures are consumed so that their strength can be acquired. Chilchuk and Marcel cower, and were even repulsed at the idea of consuming a monster. I think we just found our lunch. That's gross! Ew, no! I don't wanna! But through Senshi's cooking skills, they learn to enjoy their meals in the dungeon, finding that most things in the dungeon can be made to be edible, palatable, and nutritious, to give them strength of body to complete their quest and strength of heart to conquer their fears of what lies at the dungeon's depths and even their own hunger. Food insecurity is a real problem for many in our world today. It's not just about how to get it, but how to make use of it. It's intimidating to look into your pantry or fridge and find a handful of seemingly random and sparse ingredients, particularly for the very young, very old, or less fortunate. But Delicious in Dungeon, Dungeon Meshi, shows us that with some ingenuity, courage, and a pan, there's nothing to fear. There are ways to keep your belly full. And if fear ever does grip you, don't worry, you can eat that too. And then it'll disappear. Plus, it's delicious. Slime no naizo no himono. Oh, is it? 